accidentally hit the buzzer and X'd ourselves. Yeah, it gave us quite the thrill. It was a nice adrenaline rush. We got off. Oh, uh, we got off so Big good. Big time. Yeah. And we want to relive that experience. That's true. That feels really, really, good. Good. feels really good. There's one buzzer that's still active. Heidi, that's yours. Do not touch that quite yet. You're probably wondering what these are. Inside of one of these bags is the fourth and final X. Embedded in the block of wood is a steel spike that is sharp to the touch. Mel B, can you just check that? Yeah. It is indeed sharp, yes? yes? It's facing straight up so that if anything gets slammed down upon it, it will become impaled. Now, we don't know which bag this spike is in because before the show, one of the backstage crew placed it in one of the bags. Since we don't know, this makes it exciting for us and for you. That's right. Now, so far during the live rounds, there has not been an act to get four X's and been sent home. But tonight, that might change. Heidi, during this trick, if at any time we slam down the wrong bag, sending the spike through our hand and sending blood everywhere, it's your job to hit that fourth and final buzzer and send us home. <laughs> Adding insult to injury. The pressure is on, man. Each one of the judges is going to choose a bag for us to smash. If I was in your spot and somebody said choose a bag, I would choose bag A. But that's just because I like immediate gratification. It's true. Now, we're more like me, you choose bag E because it's on the opposite end of the spectrum and you just don't trust Lehman. Now, we <laughs> should tell you most people would choose bag C. We're not telling you that so you do choose bag C. We're not telling you that so you don't choose bag C. We're just telling you that so you're informed. It's true. <laughs> Now, the D bag is least likely to be chosen because. <laughs> Douchebag! Hey, guys, we're on a family show. Can't say that. Nobody right. wants to be one. Okay. <laughs> and there is one bag that we have not mentioned, and, and we won't. won't. Good. So, we'll begin with uh, the king of all media, Howard Stern. Which bag would you like to smash first? Well, I guess I gotta go for the D bag. All right. <laughs> Thank you for your honesty. Here we go. <clears throat> mm. uh, <laughs> <whoa. laughs> feeling good. I'm feeling real good. Ouch! Oh, oh God, Howard, very nice, very nice. Thank uh, you for choosing that one. Uh, there's four bags left, A, B, C, and E. Howie, it's your turn. Which bag should I smash? I'm from Canada. First one, eh? A. Ooh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that feels good. I'm feeling good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm feeling good. Oh, we got yeah. three bags left. This is what we're going to do together. Mel B, the choice is yours. Which bag would you like us to smash? B. B. Here we go. <laughs> One, One, two, two three. Oh, very nice choice, Mel B. <laughs> intense. We have uh, two bags left. Nikana, can you join us on stage and stand right behind the bags? <laughs> <laughs> Nikana, everybody. Well, I'm okay. Now, at the beginning, we said there's a spike in one of the bags, and we believe there's a spike in one of the bags. But the question is, do, do you believe, believe there's a spike in one of these bags? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Ooh, this, this is going to be very dramatic. dramatic. Oh, this is going to be good. Nick, go ahead and hold both hands over each bag. No. Oh, oh. it's fine. It's fine. It is. It's going to be okay. Yeah. Because we're going to trust your intuition, your sense. Get a feeling of which bag you think is safe. As soon as you have a feeling of which bag is safe, leave that hand above the bag. The other hand you can let rest at your side. The one that I think is safe. No yeah, the spike. one without the spike. Without the spike, okay. Bag C. Yeah. That's your choice. <laughs> Stop. Now we would never actually do that. Immoral, unethical, Completely just Completely unethical. But you are up here to make sure we do what we said we were going to do, which is smash yeah. all the bags except for one. And you think bag C is safe. Yes. Perfect. Here we go. Grab both of our wrists with each hand, and on the count of R3, you're going to slam our hand down. One, One two, two... Wait, 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 wait. Heidi, you never got to choose a bag. That's right. I didn't. Would you like to stick with Nick's decision or switch bags? I switch. 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 <laughs> you sure? <laughs> All right. <laughs> One, One, two, two three. three. Thank you for choosing. Heidi, thank you for switching. Because if you hadn't, you would have gotten the fourth and final X. It is a real spike. Please give Nick Cannon a huge round of applause. Wow. Thank you, Nick. I almost killed you guys on television. I mean, I think so. Mel B. You know, I have to say, even though there's a lot of information going on with your act, you keep everybody entertained. Like, I want to know what you're going to say next and what fun little quip. I loved it from start to end. I really did. Thank you. Thank you. Howie. I like it. <laughs> That's it? All right. That's it. <laughs>
Howard. Wow, that was interesting. I guess I got to kill some time. You know, I like you guys. I love your delivery, you know? I've seen this trick now a couple of times. must be the big trick going around because I've seen other people do it, but they don't do it as well as you. You're engaging. You know how to keep the topic going. You're very well crafted. Well done. Heidi? I do, I do love your showmanship. It's super entertainment, entertaining. It's kind of like a ping pong match between the two of you, just going back and forth and back and forth. I'm happy I didn't have to hit my buzzer, and I'm happy I didn't have to call 911 for your hand. I liked it a lot. Terrific. Great job, guys. And just so everybody knows, this is, this is a real spike. And it's, not, it's not foam or anything like that, right? No, this is definitely real. Could have took your hand off if you would have listened to me. <laughs> well, thanks for not listening to yeah. me. For listening to you. <laughs> Great job. How'd it go? How you feeling, Went? I feel fantastic. I think we got off. I think we got off. Yeah. Yeah. They got off. All right, good luck.